Welcome back to another video on the Airbus A320, presented to you by the Autopilots. Today we are looking at the aircraft protections, and also the upset prevention and recovery training. These are vital topics that you will learn whilst studying the Airbus. We will combine the theory with the practical throughout the lesson, giving examples for each protection. We hope you find this lesson useful. Let's dive in. Normal law protects the aircraft in the following ways. These are load factor limitation, pitch attitude, high angle of attack, high speed, and bank angle. So let's have a look at these in more detail. The load factors an aircraft can experience are limited in order to protect the aircraft in such situations where evasive maneuvers might be performed, in a TCAS or controlled flight into terrain, see fit, avoidance. The load factor is limited to 2.5 G to minus 1 G in clean configuration, and 2 G to 0 G in any flap, slap configuration. In normal law, the pitch is limited to prevent rapid energy loss or gain. These limitations are as follows, 30 degrees nose up, in config 0 to 3, 25 degrees nose up in config full, and 15 degrees nose down. The flight directors disappear when pitch exceeds 25 degrees up or 13 degrees down, and they reappear when pitch returns past 22 degrees up or 10 degrees down. The idea of high angle of attack protections is to prevent the aircraft stalling, especially at times where an unusually high angle of attack is required, like in wind shear or GPWS avoidance. Towards the bottom of the speed scale, you can see the following, VLS, the lowest selectable speed. So with auto thrust engaged, you will not be able to go below this speed. The black and amber section is V alpha prot. This is where if the side stick is released to neutral, then the angle of attack will stay at alpha prot. The only way to get higher than this angle of attack is if they keep pulling back on the side stick. This is when speed enters the red bar. This is V alpha max. At alpha max, if the pilot keeps pulling back on the stick, then the aircraft will reach alpha max. It will not exceed this and when the stick is released it will return to alpha prot. You can perform turns whilst still in alpha max. By this point, the auto thrust would have selected alpha floor. Let's have a look at this. Alpha floor is a thrust function, which automatically sets toga thrust when the angle of attack exceeds a set threshold between alpha prot and alpha max. Toga thrust is applied regardless of thrust lever position. The FMA you see is a floor, and it can be disengaged by pressing the instinctive disconnect push button on the thrust lever. This graph further shows the angle of attack protections in normal law. As you can see, you are well protected from the stall. Even if you reach alpha max, you will not stall the aircraft.
When the aircraft flies above VMO, MMO, the high-speed protections enables it to automatically recover. It does this by applying a nose-up order to ensure a recovery to normal flight envelope. At side stick neutral, the aircraft will slightly exceed VMO, MMO before applying this nose-up order. With the side stick full forward, the aircraft will get to VMO plus 16 knots or MMO plus 0.04. The full forward authority will be reduced to zero, no matter how hard the pilot tries to push the nose down. We have bank angle protections as well. The A320 has a bank angle limit of 67 degrees. It will keep bank constant up until 33 degrees, so if the pilot wants to exceed this, they will need to keep the side stick left or right, as any exceedances of 33 degrees will cause the aircraft to roll back to 33 degrees when side stick released. The autopilot and flight directors disconnect at 45 degrees and they return at 40 degrees. The low energy state warning is the speed, speed, speed call. It is armed in flaps 2, 3 and full and computed by the FAC, the flight augmentation computer. Its purpose is to warn the pilot to increase thrust. It is inhibited when TOGA selected below 100 RA and above 2000 feet, alpha floor activated, GPW's mode activated, or if the aircraft is in alternate or direct law. thousand five hundred.
speed, speed, speed. Speed, speed, speed. Right, now let's have a look at UPRT. UPRT is very important in pilot training, and it was actually made a mandatory training requirement by ASA in 2019. Upset Prevention and Recovery Training, UPRT, is training that pilots must undertake to help learn about identifying abnormal aircraft states and how to prevent or recover from them. There can be several examples of an aircraft being in an abnormal state, but in today's lesson we will show you two. Nose high, speed low, and nose low, speed high. So how do we define an upset aircraft? An aircraft is upset when it is in an undesired state caused by unintentional divergences from the normal flight parameters. Deviations from the desired aircraft state will become larger until the flight crew take action. Examples include these two images below. The goal of the recovery technique is to complete the three activities, assess the energy, stop the flight path divergence, stabilize the flight path. This can be achieved by using the following technique. U, is the aircraft upset? If so, assume control. Announce, I have control, autopilot off, press and hold the takeover push button on the side stick. P, consider push. Push the nose down, this will unload the wings. Note that it is not required if nose low. R, consider roll. Roll the wings level, this reduces the load factor and workload. Do not use the rudder and T, consider the use of thrust. If speed is low, add thrust only once the pitch is recovered. If nose low, speed high, then you must reduce thrust. Finally, we then must stabilize the flight with appropriate use of automation, flight guidance and crew communication. So how will it work in the sim? The instructor might ask you to close your eyes as they put the aircraft in an upset state, they will then say, recover, and at this point, open your eyes, and ask is the situation on the PFD. Announce, I have control, and press and hold the takeover push button. If you don't take over correctly, they might still try and intervene. Use the UPRT model to recover and stabilize the flight. Once stabilized, engage autopilot and ensure FMAs are correct. Stall, stall. 